of breadcrumbs, see if you follow, and like I said, I don't have to play yeah. the game. Yeah. You come to me, and yeah. you let me know when you're ready. Yeah, because when they're when they're on the floor, like like that, it's a neutral item. It's a neutral yeah. explosion. No one owns the explosion, so it will blow both of them up. It would blow up anyone. Okay. And the reflectors, they don't they don't register that correctly. Okay. But if the explosion belongs to someone, for example, like Samus's bomb, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it will reflect Samus's bomb, and it will only hurt Samus. Okay. It won't hurt Hero. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of weird properties with Reflect reflectors there. in this game. Well, no reflectors in this game here, Captain yeah. Andrew. We'll be rocking the Sonic against Red Man Samus. Mm -hmm. Of course, Sonic, one of those characters I'm, I talk about. Honestly, a lot of people don't put this. Still write this character out. The character's still great. Mm -hmm. Just not a lot of Sonics out there, and I feel like they dropped the character just because of the lack of tools some players were used to in Smash 4. But the character still remains a threat. There's a reason why Sonics is number one in the Dominican Republic for this character. There's a reason why Ken is so great in Japan with this character, mm -hmm. despite losing to Roots. Yeah, <laughs> he lost to Roots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he Roots, is a, Roots is a good player, yeah, dude. He is, he is, he is, he is. He is a great player, I'm not gonna lie. But in my opinion, Ken wasn't playing that matchup, but no, we'll, see no. how, we'll see how Captain Andrew can handle the, the Samus. Yeah, uh, but like uh, another issue a lot of Sonics don't like, um, you can't cross up shield as much as you can, be, as much as you used to. And also, your up air sometimes decides to not work. Yeah. You but, kinda have to adjust yourself for a new Sonic, basically. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we all had to when the Sonic movie was announced. Yeah. But there's also another few things that he does have going for him. His forward smash is still bonkers. Yeah. And his bear is also still bonkers. And now, he has like a lot of off-stage tools that are really strong. And like you, you could just go as far off stage as you want. So I, I'll go, I'll go into your the full blast zone. I'll up B and I'll still be able to air dodge now on onto the ledge. Yeah. And that's like a massive tool that helps Sonic in this matchup now. Uh, and not not this matchup in particular, but just in general. And but now Samus, Samus is that like another dupe killer as we said before but now it's a, a lot more than just a dupe killer yeah the this character has really good. yeah the character's really evolved yeah this character's strong i mean starting in the meta right when we first saw the character in the first three months of ultimate mm -hmm. being released we didn't see samus go anywhere but then players like yb and quick came out to show us what samus can really do and what that shield break and we'll uh, see what's his name it was the the mexican player joker yeah joker yeah. joker was so good yeah. with the character all, all, those three players joker Quick, YB, kind of came out to show us what Samus can really do. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in Smash 4, all we kind of had a hope was we were watching Jay West beat Con <laughs> Con that one time. <laughs> yeah. And now we have hope from three new players who also made Samus very, very well. And the character has kind of find itself in a different spot in the meta now. Kind of yeah. moving up from, a, from the previous spot, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Oh. I wouldn't know where to rank Samus not being a Samus game myself. But like I said, I feel that this game has more high tiers than it did in Smash 4. No, uh, like, this is definitely a high tier character. And like I honestly see, I honestly see this character having somewhat of a potential of being a top tier, like of hitting okay. like the lower ends of the top tier. But like we don't have enough of like hard evidence to like for me to say that fully. Yeah. But like I say, I see this potential. Yeah. Seeing seeing Quick and YB's performance along with Joker pretty much cements the character as being a great high tier mm -hmm. and one of those characters you really have to work. Mm -hmm. to put out that high tier placing as well. Yeah. Not only that, like you cannot be a Wi-Fi Samus <laughs> if you're going to be mm -hmm. making the character be high tier. All yeah. right, down air, not enough here, but it does pop up Captain L. Sorry, Captain Andrew. Yeah. There's a lot of captains out here, but unfortunately Captain Andrew will be the captain of that L. Yeah. Two stocks to one. <laughs> yeah, it definitely took out that stock. But uh, like, uh, there's a lot of tools that Samus has where like her feet are basically swords. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Like her up tilt, you can't deal with that at all. Like you have to respect it. Yeah. And you can't recover. You can't recover high and sometimes two frames. Mm -hmm. And like I, I don't really see Sonic being able. Like that's gonna be the most oppressive tool in this matchup besides charge shot. Oh, I'm sorry. Ken lost to uh, Quick at Congo Saga, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys might have to like look for Quick on. On Twitter and see what his opinions are on this matchup. I honestly, like, looking at it, I don't really see how the hell Sonic could get in on this matchup. That's what I was going to say, too. I feel like Quick would have the definitive answer for, yeah. this, up, for this matchup. You know, but yeah. looking at how, like you said, right, it's really difficult for Sonic to get in. Yeah. Captain Andrew's trying to find a way, but the way that Samus projectiles work, either fast or slow, gives Sonic quite a thing to work for. Yep. Back on the return on the shield, tries to go for his there. I do like the spin attack to kind of cover that option. And you mentioned that Samus' legs are a sword. 
That back air looking like Ice Sword. Yeah, that back air, that back air is massive. Yeah. And she got that, she got that triple L going for her. <laughs> that triple L, long, luscious legs, killing it. Tell him, man. Tell him, man. <laughs> Work up, tone up the body for those long, luscious legs. Uh huh. And the new year is coming, man. Time to hit the gym. For real, for real. <laughs> Can't wait for everyone to hit the gym for like the first, first month. Two, yeah. the fir first month, give up. Hey, look, Let's I, go. I'm gonna be real. I just started hiking today, this morning. I want it. <laughs> I want. I'm just, I'm. I'm starting early so I can try to stay dedicated here. But we'll see how dedicated Captain Andrew will be here in this next game and see what he can do against Redman. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a tough matchup. You like these these like disjoints that Samus has are. Ooh, they are impressive. Yeah. And I, I, you can't approach her from the air either, because up tilt and up B. One of Charlie's favorite moves there is the forward air, too. You gotta watch out for that. Yeah, that that fair is also disgusting, too. Nice. I have noticed some Samus's go for a down throw Nair. I don't know what the percentage threshold is for that one, mm -hmm. but still a really good move. And Nair has pretty good damage within the inner hitbox from what I've seen so far. Yeah. Sometimes, and sometimes it's a really good shield pressure move because if you hit both hits, oh, oh yeah, that's disgusting. Maybe it's very like you mentioned earlier. Like, speaking of swords, Marth has an air that's very also very similar to Samus. Both hits can be difficult to connect, but if they do, it's pretty nasty. Mm -hmm. But oh, not gonna get that Ooh, bear. That was such a commitment with the grab too. Yeah. Oh, this is off stage. Oh, I like the that. The tech though, another one too. Yeah. Oh, trying to two frame with the forward smash. That's kind of what. If I'm Captain Andrew, that's what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to want to get her off stage, and I want to punch her. Yeah. I want to punch her right in her metallic face. Because that that's going to be a really strong option. It's super destroying. It's really fast, and it, it catches ledge really well. Yeah. Still, like you mentioned, too, like those are two Sonic, two moves Sonic still has in the toolkit that are very Ooh. good. It's forward smash and back air. You still have to respect yeah. the moves. I gotta, definitely got to respect Samus back into it, especially on the comeback. Mm -hmm. Oh, my man was matching buttons. Oh, yeah, no, no, he was pressing Yeah, he, he was pressing everything. Yeah. He, might have, he might as well have rolled his control, face on the controller at that point. Yeah, that, 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 that basically what it was. <laughs> oh, up tilt, not going to kill. Wow, <laughs> like one, 178. Man, Samus is also Pretty absurdly heavy, heavy <laughs> for a floaty. Oh, no, catching the jump. Oh, no, he's off. 58%, man. How is he going? Captain oh, Andrew died. might want to check himself if he's on Wi-Fi or in LAN. Yeah. He's like, where's the lag? <laughs> I swear, man. <laughs> <laughs> I shielded. <laughs> where's the lag switch on the Samus? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. It's there. Caught it's the, a nair. Caught the opportunity on the approach there with a the down air. Ooh, I like that. It, he canceled out the, that landing, the landing lag of the dare with the bomb explosion. I hate hearing this song because it reminds me how much of Break the Targets is done in this game. Uh, Break the Targets is so fun. Oh, he got his... Oh, yo, this man is still living from the depths. I thought he was going to die. I honestly thought he was dead. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know if I saw a footstool or not, but I saw something. And unfortunately, no. Sam is still living. Yeah, it was the, he got the spike kickbox of the dare. Yeah, okay. But like he didn't get the footstool after, but like I thought it was just too low. No, and there's an up tilt. Got the spike hitbox, unfortunately, because that would have killed if it was a sour spot. <laughs> Oddly enough. <laughs> it's like one of those weird moves where you don't want the sweet spot. Nice. Sets up for the opportunity for the fake out Captain Andrew. And the reason why is because the bomb will eventually oh, drop dead. down. Charlie's favorite move, of course, Samus Forwarder. You got to watch out for it. 64% to Redman. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be in Samus' game plan. That's kind of one thing you, where we see Captain Andrew, right? Two stocks against Samus, 64%. Captain Andrew has to do a lot of the approaching here. Yeah, and uh, Redman does not need to play the game anymore. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there's a punch. But I got the sour spot punch and missed out on the fair as well. Oh, and now he's stuck in the air. Now, Redman kind of going for these really um, kind of risky grabs. Yeah, I don't see I don't see opportunities where Captain Andrew would let go and then fall into the grab. Close on the forward smash, but no cigar. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not gonna connect. Oh, that's another why Sonic's don't like this character anymore. Um, used to, you can't really like do your spin dashy stuff into your fares as much. You don't. Sometimes they connect. Sometimes they decide. I don't want to. I don't want it to work anymore. And it's like very DI dependent now. And uh, there's a force match. match. Yeah. That's it. Well, hopefully in 2020 we will see some uh, Sonic buffs. 